Lucas Media. So we're gonna do a review about this balloon popping frenzy, fair use. You know, I'm gonna play my quick thoughts about what this brother has to say to this this young lady, and then I'm gonna give my thoughts. Up with your name and age. Hi, I'm Janae. I'm 34. Hello, and Janae. Janae, what do you do? I'm in school for fashion design. I'm an office assistant, and I'm a new entrepreneur. Just about to launch my fitness clothing line called okay, We Fit. Okay, okay, no wrong with that. <laughs> okay, and why did you end up popping your balloon for, for Brian? Age too. Hey, Brian, I love the way you speak, but for me, it was the pants. I don't like the pants too tight. I'm kind of ghetto too, so I like them a little loose. And uh oh, that'd have been an automatic no for me. I would have immediately popped that balloon, but that's just me. Um, that was just it for me. Okay. How old are you? 34. 34? Mm -hmm. How many kids you got? I got three. You got three? Yep. How many baby daddies? I have three. Let me keep playing the video. Three baby daddies. Okay. I should have said zero. Because mm -hmm. it's just me. You gonna lie to the public? What, what, whoa, whoa. Did y'all hear that? That right there would be an immediate. That's another red flag. What do you mean by zero? Where they at? No, I have three, but it's just me. I'm a single parent. There's no man in my life. So they're not taking the kids to school. They're not involved. Nothing. If why is the reason boys. for there no man in your life? Um. Uh, well, my first child, his father passed away, and the other two are nowhere to be found. But you see at the point she said I'm ghetto. So right there, right there. We well, you know the type of men she like. Thug love. Like that thug love. But see, this is the downside that comes with that. You know what I mean? It's cute when it's younger. You know, do y'all remember back in the day? You know, you see somebody pull up, you know, they got a cutlass or whatever. They got some rims on it. <laughs> remember we used to put the little TV monitors in the back? You know, and all the girls, ooh, but it's cool when you're 18, 19, 20, but when you skip to 34, you know, the dude with the, had the Cutlass Supreme or whatever back in the day, he probably on drugs now. And now you want the professionals, you know what I mean? You want people like us that have been grinding for 20 years and that, you know, and now we got options and we got choices. So what can you do? They do you like that? But she's What's wrong with them? Lady, though? something mm. only god knows or is there something wrong with you possibly but i think i'm just fine i think you're just fine as well thank you right yeah you can tell she's she's offended she's defensive and i mean we all gotta just accept our truth man you know is yeah let, let me let me keep going but to say that a 41 year old man is disqualified because of his pants you're 41 I'll be 41 in September. Okay, because I was like, I thought you said 40. I'll be 41 in September. That's coming up. It's, I like it. It's okay for you. It's not my style. You know, with everything going on, I like the pants to be a little baggy. That's all. Where you from, love? Kansas City. Kansas City? Yeah. Shout out to Kansas City. They got some good food out there. Okay. How long you been out here? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go out of I mean, like I said, it was pretty pleasant. You could tell, like I said, she was tensed up. And, you know, I, I tell my daughters this, right? Because like I said, I'm going to keep saying this. I have daughters that one's an adult, one's almost an adult. It's cute to have kids, but at the same time, it's going to cost you on the back end. And, you know, as you get older, as you change, you want professional men. And what do professional men want? You got to remember that. So like I tell my daughters, man, do not have children until you're married. You be having these, these kids out there with these pookies and these Ray Rays, these man mains. And, you know, they going in and out of jail and somebody who, like a lot of us, we've worked. We've worked our tails off to get where we at. And you think that I got to come back and get you and save you? No, no, queens. Stop having babies with these pookies. We, we got to stop. You see, a lot of times, y'all notice, and this is why I say it's going to piss a lot of people off. Women control whether or not we the babies are born. You know, I was arguing with somebody today, and my homeboy was telling me, like, man, it's the dude, it's the dude. No, the women control whether or not the babies are born. So, 
if you have a baby with a pookie, what you think gonna happen? You know, and a lot of times people can people can overlook one mistake. You know, dyes can overlook one, depending on the situation. But when you have two, three, four, five, and then you'll see people where they go, "Oh, I got five kids, but you gotta wait till you marry, to be married, to you know, be intimate." And not only that, but you got to help me take care of these kids. And some of these times, these kids are out of control. And my baby daddy's out of control. And they stalkers. You think I'm going to deal with that? No, thank you. And I know that y'all say, well, men have kids. Yeah, men and women view kids differently. Just like with everything else, it's a double standard. Just like how women can get away with a lot of different things that men can get away with. It's the same thing. So as a woman, queens, y'all got to listen to what men want. And we're talking about the top, the cream of the crop, the people that you want. What do they want in a queen? You know, or if you're going to have multiple kids, you better be really nice. You better be nice, very feminine. You can't be talking about, oh, I'm a little ghetto. Oh, whoa. What you what that mean? And you 34. It ain't like you 20. If you 20, you talking about you ghetto. We can chalk that up to immaturity. But in your third, your, your mid thirties, really? You ain't graduated from that? You know, but that's, that's really the problem with a lot of queens out there. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I go in on brothers too, but I just really want, you know, people and, and, and again, brothers, if you have daughters on here, sisters, uh, if y'all have daughters or nieces, do tell them don't have no way to get married to start having kids. We promote babies before we do marriage and it's a sick it's a sickness that was implanted in all of us but we have to have uncomfortable conversations like this in order for us to move forward you know so i just want to get my quick thoughts about it i'm gonna put the link to the channel uh in the description make sure y'all subscribe over there if y'all like this type of stuff tell me what y'all think am i tripping is it is it me am i outdated let me know below